three steps to selecting the right AC drive. This is step one, selecting the right model. In order to select the right model of AC drive for your application, you must determine the motor horsepower, voltage, and full load amperage. This information can be found on the motor nameplate. For this scenario, we are using a 1 horsepower, 460 volt AC motor with a full load rating of 2.6 amps, controlling a blower fan. There are several application types to choose from. Conveyors, pumps, fans, shop tools, material handling, HVAC, mixing, compressors, extruders, grinders, and web handling. Although the GS1 supports our application type, it does not meet our voltage requirements of 460 volts AC. Since the GS2, Durapulse, and SJ300 AC drive models are all capable of handling our application, let's look at the control modes. There are three control modes available. Volts Hertz, which is open loop control, takes a speed reference from an external source and varies the voltage and frequency to control the speed of the motor. Sensorless Vector, although similar to volts Hertz, has internal feedback that monitors reflections from the motor to determine speed. And Closed Loop, which uses encoder feedback. Volts Hertz will support our control mode, which still leaves the GS2, Durapulse, and SJ300 series as possible solutions. Let's look at the I.O. configurations of the different modules. Digital inputs are used to interface an AC drive with devices such as push buttons, selector switches, and PLC digital output signals. These signals are typically used for functions such as start-stop, forward-reverse, external fault, and fault reset. Digital outputs are used to connect the AC drive to pilot lights, alarms, auxiliary relays, solenoids, and PLC digital input signals. Transistor outputs are rated for DC voltages, whereas relay outputs work with both AC and DC voltages. The analog input is used to interface the AC drive with an external 0 to 10 volt DC or 4 to 20 milliamp signal. This signal can represent a speed set point or, if available, PID feedback. An analog output signal of 0 to 10 volts DC at 2 milliamps is available on some of the AC drives. This signal is intended for use with a panel voltmeter and may require a potentiometer for certain types of meters. Our application only requires two digital inputs, one relay output, and one analog input signal. The keypads of the GS2, Durapulse, and SJ300 are removable and can be remotely mounted for easy operator access and carry a NEMA 1 rating. The Durapulse keypad can store up to three separate drives configurations. We will mount the keypad on the drive's enclosure door. Remote mounting requires the purchase of a keypad cable for the GS2 and Durapulse drives, available in 1, 3, and 5 meter lengths. A standard UTP Category 5 Ethernet cable up to 3 meters in length can be used for the SJ300 keypad. A serial communications interface can be used to connect the AC drive to other devices that have the capability to function as a master. The master device can control the AC drive with the serial interface instead of using the digital and analog I.O. The master can also use the interface to monitor the status of various AC drive parameters such as speed, current, and fault status. The GS1, GS2, and Durapulse AC drives have a standard Modbus RS-485 serial interface. The SJ300 requires an optional SC-OPE3I with a built-in serial communications interface. The GS1, GS2, and Durapulse AC drives also have the capability to communicate through an optional Ethernet interface by utilizing the GSE drive interface board. This board receives the Ethernet connection from the master and sends out an RS-485 serial Modbus communication to the AC drive. We'll be using Ethernet to communicate with a PLC. Based on all the facts, we have determined that the most cost-effective AC drive series that fits our application is the GS2 AC microdrive. We're now ready for step two, selecting the proper rating. 